Hey, so um, I'm coming with the uh, four visions. Um, these visions I have had, they were separated in twos. Two of them I had about maybe a month or two ago, and two of them I had maybe a, a week ago. Um, take all these visions to the Lord. Um, if you have any insight, um, any revelation about them, I'm willing to hear. Uh, so, Okay, the first vision I want to share is, okay, I had this one about last week, um, and it was in a time of prayer, um, I was really just really focusing um, and meditating and speaking in my spiritual language to the Lord, um, and uh, I was shown two things, um, the first one was I was shown the river of life. I was taken up and uh, I don't know if I was taken up in the spirit or if I was just shown it. Kind of like John said in the book of Revelations. Um, but I, show, I was shown the river of life. It's been the second time I've seen it, but um, this time I saw a different section of it. And in this section, it was, uh, you can't really describe it. You can't describe the river of life in its totality and its magnificence because it is beyond any language that we have. It's beyond any type of um, description adjective you can give it because there is no the magnitude of it is so great that there you can't describe it so with the best of my ability I can say that it's like someone made a beautiful painting it's like God painted it literally and what I mean by that is that every blade of grass every flower leaf um, every speck of dirt wasn't just randomized it wasn't just placed there to grow on its own it was appointed that specific position for the perfect image scenery um full capture of that of of that river um the grass is alive the leaves are alive the flowers are alive. It's majestic. It's a, it's a, a reality that is times five thousand of ours, I guess. Like I said, I'm not, I can't fully describe this. Um, and it was, I was like floating above it, like in the middle of the river, kind of. So I was looking straight down. Um, oh, yeah, that means narrow path. Thanks, Lord. Um, and the river, I could see that it was, it was flowing not very calm, but not very fast. It was at a steady pace where you could see kind of the whiteness. You know, if you look at a river, you could see the whiteness of it. It was flowing in that type of pace. Um, the water was, the glory of God was in the water. That's what I can say. The, the magnificence of God, sorry, that was my dog. Um, was in the water uh, and in the distance it's like the river of life the section I saw it, it was coming down from somewhere and it came down to like a uh, it comes down like a small little river like a not a river a uh, waterfall um, it's not like a big waterfall it's like um, maybe about 10 feet maybe about six, maybe about eight feet. It's a very small waterfall, but it comes down and as it edges over the, uh, there's like patches of some type of flower I've never seen before that are at the corners of it. Um, and the sound of the, of the river of life, um, is, it sounds like, it's not like music. It's exactly like water. But it's something beyond water. It's just not a water you hear down. It's not like water you hear down the stream. It's different. There's God's glory in it. And it's beautiful. Every aspect of it is beautiful. And that was one vision. Um, the second vision I want to share was this one was given about a month or two ago. And in this vision, I was doing the same thing. Just meditating on the Lord, praying to Him, you know, speaking my spiritual language to Him, just 
completely closing off everything and just he was my focus and I was revealed and shown I, I was taken up in the sky or I was shown in the sky um, a, a meteor coming from left to right and this meteor was I couldn't tell how big it was because there was so much smoke fire and ash coming from it um, I could tell by no doubt it was coming at a speed that was like almost a speed of sound it was like a jet um, before I've had a vision of a meteor and God showed me the actual meteorite the meteor the stone that was being cast down um, and on that vision I could see it and examine the meteor and it wasn't coming as fast as it was this time um, I don't know if this was the same meteor I saw in this vision as I did in the previous one um, but I knew that this vision was so much more real um, when I had that vision in 2014 of the meteorite or meteor I don't know the difference I know meteorite is smaller than a meteor I think I think this is a meteor um, I knew in 2014 the vision I had of that was not as clear not as real not as lifelike as it was this one that one was like a CGI 3D thing this one was like I was literally there I could hear it I could see individual particles of the smoke and the fire I could um, I could you know gauge the speed of it and it was incredibly fast and I never got to see where it landed but I knew it came from left to right and that was it of that vision um, I know there's been, I know I've had two visions where I saw fireballs raining down on New York in the Boston area and then I saw a big meteor. I don't know if this was one fireball or this was a meteor, but that's it. Next vision I had was about two months ago and it was in that same time of prayer I had of having the meteor vision. I had this vision and then this vision I was shown Planet X again. Um, I've had couple of dreams, couple of visions of it. Um, I know it involves Yellowstone. I know it involves these volcanoes. I know it involves these earthquakes. Um, I know that that Nibiru planet, X planet, is tugging on our planet, and it's tugging on the weak spot, the weak spots on our planet, and which is the volcanoes and the earthquakes and any other weak spot in the Earth's crust is pulling on that stronger and causing all these earthquakes to happen and all these volcanoes in the ring of fire to happen all all the time now and it's going to get a lot worse it is going to get a lot lot worse and it's causing the pole shift and whatnot um but this time this vision i had was i was shown the image that the mass media put up um, god showed me what they used the image for um, there was one picture that one news uh, media used, and it was a black planet. It was like a black ball, and it had a black ring around it, but it was completely black. There was no, um, you couldn't tell the landmass. You couldn't tell um, any differentiation in clouds, the landmass, water, anything. Um, and that's not true, but it was a CGI picture they made up. Uh, 3D model and I think I was showing me that you know as we all know they try to precondition people and this is their preconditioning and this is them coming out about it because eventually it's going to come to a point where they can't deny it um, that it's going to be the only answer for a lot of things happening and I think God was showing me that because right when I had that vision about two or three days later they come out with the picture because I was like why are you showing me a vision of this Lord of it that way I was like, God, that's not how it looks. Um, he didn't really say anything, but you know, I understood later, um, days later, what it was. Um, but the real image, the real picture, the re what it really looks like, and I've had multiple visions about it and a dream about it, is that it's a, it is a black planet, but it has redness and it has like this lava fire type atmosphere um, it has a lot of iron oxide I've even been to the planet to where I've seen 
the landscape. And um, there are, and go to the Lord about this, not many people have been shown this, there's the alien, it's part of the alien deception. We know all know as fallen angels and demons. Um, let's just say some of those demons are already on that planet. Um, it's not just an uh, it's not just a uh, abandoned planet with no life form on it. There's stuff on it. Trust me, there's stuff on it, and it's coming. Um, it's a part of this whole alien deception. It's the timing of it is just perfect, and it's only God doing it. Satan can't do this. He's not that smart. Um, and I've seen some of the the quote unquote in the Bible is is Gentiles which is heathens, um, it's the beasts, it's the fallen angels, um, it's a strong delusion that's coming up, and there's different species of these Nephilim that are coming back, um, different species, um, some species are going to come to deceive, some species are just going to come to destroy, um, I was shown on that place in a vision, strong vision, it was like I was there, um, where I saw one species who was gearing up like an army ready to just wanted to slaughter Christians, wanted to slaughter people, um, just like they did in the book of Noah, where the Nephilim, if you read the book of Enoch, the Nephilim would do horrendous, the terrible things, disgusting things to humans, and even animals, they didn't care, it was anything that had life, they would destroy them, eat them abuse them and rape them it was it was gross if you read about it um that's what this species was i saw on this planet but as nibiru comes closer there's another species who's not like a beast a uh, warrior type evil but they're more of a the typical big long head black eyes they're coming to deceive they're coming to trick the people and that's another race um like I said, not many people have been shown this, but go to the Lord about it and he'll show you if he wants um, these things. And so, basically that vision just, uh, God, I think he was showing me, like, they're going to precondition the masses with this and lie about when it's coming and lie about where it is exactly and blah, blah, blah. We know this. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Okay. I had another vision uh recently of I think this was last week or so i saw a jet and um, i was meditating to the lord the same thing and i saw a jet and it was coming from the south from the middle east like the israel libya um egypt area it was coming from that area i don't know exactly where i knew it was a desert place it was desert because when I saw the jet, I could look under the jet and I saw the ground, it was completely desert. Um, and I saw where it's headed. Then I saw the jet and I saw it, it was flying north, northwest, northwest ish. And uh, it was going towards Europe. I don't know exactly where Europe, but God showed me a map and the section of the map God focused me on was the spain turkey area i don't know what he was showing me i know he may be showing me in part but that's all i saw um and i prayed about that in that vision i was like lord please let me know this is really from you and that this is you showing me this because i really don't understand what's going on and he gave me the vision again but he put me in the back seat of the pilot um so i was in the jet and i was going to really give me like this is from me this is what i want you to see and um, so then there's that vision. Um, I did that. Do the river alive. What else? I think that's it. Um, if I if I missed one, uh, I'll come back on here and do another one. But for right now, that's all I can remember. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or if you want to share anything that God has shown you. I am more than happy to know. I'm more than happy to listen. Um, but yeah, you guys have a great day. and um, I'm going to keep on sharing. As long as God keeps wanting me to 
or as long as God keeps the door open. That's pretty much it. All right, see you later.